All right, I'm back. Got all that taken care of. It's uh, 12, 1230. Um, this video is crazy, man. Just some of the stuff that I had to go through. So I'll go ahead and start the beginning and, and kind of work my way into it and explain to y'all a few things and how everything started. But I just want to let, like, the reason why I started this channel is because um, I like, I want people to see, like, like, I don't want people to just watch me kill pigs. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's dumb. I, I want to like people to like learn from my mistakes and things that I learned in the past on how to, how to trap these pigs and how to get, get rid of them. Cause I don't really enjoy killing pigs. I just enjoy, uh, making, making a property or land owner happier, uh, by not having pigs to deal with because they're destructive and they're nasty. I can't stand them. So I don't really enjoy killing them. I just, I just really enjoy what I'm doing for the land, you know, like what I'm doing to make it a better place for all the other, the, the deer and the turkeys and everything else for the natural habitat. That's why I, I do this. And also to, um, to share like my experiences as far as like, um, you know, like the best way to get them really, honestly, like I, I've been doing it for a minute and I, I like some people are born to be dentists and doctors and all that. I think I was born to kill pigs. Like that's to exterminate them. That's what I was born to do. So, anyway, I'll get into the video. All right, so yeah, trapping these pigs, man, it's not all, it ain't all fun and games, because see that white box right there? That's my control box, and the last time, the last group of pigs I trapped, for some reason, the mounts on the back of it slid down, so it made the cable too long. So when I went to trigger the trap, the cable was too long. It didn't pull on the latch. So I, I had them in there earlier, and... I, I went to hit the button to trigger the trap <laughs> and it just it didn't do nothing it just pulled on the cable but the cable's too long so now I got to go out there tomorrow and in the morning and fix it so now I just get to watch these pigs eat the corn up so yeah there's all all nine of them's in there this is the whole group every one of them there's two big that big monster boar right there in the corner and then there's another boar up there towards the front and there's two three sows and the rest of the schultz so it's nine pigs of this group. That would have made 14 plus nine. That would have been, um, yeah, 22, 23 pigs for today. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, now I just got to, like, wait till the morning to go out there and fix the box. I think I got to put lock washers behind it so that it'll hold, it'll stay up. But, yeah, this is what I go through right here. You know, it ain't all, everything don't always work out perfect. So, that's, that, <laughs> it is what it is so this is a long story so uh i'll try to make it short i was at the house earlier i trapped those eight pigs right there in the trap okay And that big boar right there on the ground, I just shot him. He would not come to the trap till late. So they started acting crazy because there was a boar in there trying to get with the other sow. And they basically, I had to drop it because I was worried that the sows were going to get spooked if they hit the side of the panels or whatever. So they, so sure enough, 25, 30 minutes later, that big boar right there showed up. Okay. Came in, hung around the trap. So I was at the house watching this. I said, you know what? I'm going to go out there and walk down there and shoot him. So I just parked 500 yards up the road, walked down here in the dark because I left my flashlight. And he was laying down right there. He was laying down. And then for some reason, maybe he smelled me or whatever, he got up. And he, I was here for about 15, 10 minutes, 15 minutes watching him. He got up, started walking this way. And then I, he was walking and I shot him right there. He's laying on the ground right there. You can barely see and see a little bit of them, but yeah, he's dead. So that's all nine pigs for this spot, and uh, we'll be moving on to the next one. All right, so that's the big that's that big boar right there. Here, put the video on me. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. So anyway, uh, to wrap this up, we got nine pigs. I got eight pigs in the trap, and I got him on the ground. So, like I said earlier, when I was talking on the thermal, he was laying down over there, and then he got up. 
started walking this way and I was all the way back there about 120, 15 yards back and I shot him right in the head. Come over here, zoom in, Zach. I got him right, I didn't record the, yeah, I got him right in the head. I didn't record, I didn't actually record, I didn't actually uh, record the uh, the shooting because it happened so fast because he just got up and started moving. And, but anyway, um, I figured it was a crap shoot when I left the house. I was like, yeah, he's probably hanging around the trap, man. I know he is. And sure enough, when I got over here, he was laying down over there. Then he got up, walked over here, and I shot him. So that's it on him. And that's a big pig. What do you think he went? About 250? Yeah. About 250? Yeah, he's a big pig. He was the biggest one out of this group. So he's going down the road with the rest of these. We're going <laughs> to put them in ones in the trap right now. Here, check them out. Turn, go ahead and turn that around. Put the lights on them. He's way back here, huh? He didn't look like he was that far back. So anyway, we got them. Oh, they're back there in the back. He's turning around now. Yep, there they go. Yep, there's a boar and two sows and some shoats. So we're going to put, put them down now and that's going to be the end of that. I'm going to get this trap moved to another spot. I got a bunch of more pigs coming in there. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it all up. Um, I got those nine pigs and that's what I was out to do. So, I mean, you know, so, uh, people wonder like, will a pig ever come back to a trap when he's, when he sees other pigs in there? Yes, they will. That pig just happened to be hanging around. You know, they say that the um the early bird gets the worm, the late mouse gets the cheese, but he got he didn't get the cheese, he got a headache. That's what he got. So he's he's done. He's, he's it's over with for him. Um he hung around a little bit too long and I was I didn't know wasn't sure if he was gonna still be there when I left. I had a feeling he was, but I wasn't hundred percent sure, but that's just you know, that's the risk you gotta take. But there was nine pigs in that area and I got them. I got all nine. And that's what it, that's what it's all about. So now I can move on to another area. So I got pigs coming to an, a, a feeder. I count them. I know how many pigs are in there. I got to get rid of. And I don't want no pig to be left behind. None. They got to I got to get them all of them. So that's the goal, and that's that's what has to be done. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.